It's time! It is a heavyweight collision between Bruce Lee and Michael the Menace Johnson. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. If you see first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 20 wins, 17 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Michael the Menace Johnson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. martial arts they can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon i'm so excited to watch the highest level of mma on display tonight can't take many of those you better check misses with the left hook that right hand hurt him a little bit man is he timing his shots well here tonight dc it's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past i mean he is so sharp and not only is he accurate he's also keeping very busy oh and he connects with a the punch there dc you gotta like what you're seeing thus far. i mean the speed at which he throws is crazy well perhaps 
a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't ah. take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Big ball from the punch man. Now he gets back to range. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. And they separate. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice right hand. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, Guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. It's such a fast leg kick. Single collar tie here. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Nice head kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, single collar tie here. Massive knee lands from the tie punch. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Johnson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He blocks the punch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, look at the combination of these now. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, engaging a single collar tie. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. And they set it. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. That's a straight punch. Does a lot of damage if you hit him in the body that clean. Please kick attempt. That one was blocked. Oh, collar tie. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Stop, stop, stop. All right, all right, all right, calm down, calm down. You've been hit, you've bigger shots than that, all right? All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Ooh, what a punch. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Oh, nice. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, that diving punch landed. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Johnson. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would say. A lot of damage could be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up. Whoa! Shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head of the clinch. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Watch the shot. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Right hand upstairs. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Well, winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Under two minutes to go in the round. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an arm bar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Attack an arm bar. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got to recognize this is dangerous. This is a dangerous position. Now he falls back into the finishing position. So he submits him with the arm bar. How about that? Great job. Great performance. He's done. He's done. What a performance. Yeah, that is some high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu right there. Just the way he transitioned to secure the arm up against his body and ultimately force the tap. High-level stuff out of that young man here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, 51 seconds of round number two. Join the winner by tap out, Roosh, the Dragon Lee! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, 
they can find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised, and the 